Sean Dyche is said to be appointed as Frank Lampard's replacement at Everton. Incoming Everton boss Sean Dyche once admitted his childhood love for Liverpool and admiration for Reds legend Kenny Dalglish. The former Burnley manager is said to be appointed as Frank Lampard's replacement with the Toffees under serious threat of Premier League relegation. Deitch has been out of work since his decade-long stint at Turf Moor came to an end in April last year. His style of football hasn't always won everyone over but Everton seemingly believe that he can dig them out of trouble, with Lampard's poor start to the campaign leaving them 19th and two points from safety. The Toffees initially held talks with Marcelo Bielsa, who was thought to be the top choice for owner Farhad Mashiri, although the iconic Argentine coach supposedly snubbed the Toffees' advances after holding talks about the project. Deitch is proven at keeping clubs in the Premier League, having coached Burnley to regularly punch above their weight in the top flight before suffering relegation last term, but Everton fans may not be too pleased to discover his childhood affection for their red-shirted neighbours. My first recollection of them was at seven years old, then at about eight or nine when you start zooming in on what it's really about, Deitch told reporters before facing Jurgen Klopp's side in 2019. That whole Liverpool thing was quite a powerful thing in the 70s. Deitch also referenced his admiration for Liverpool during a separate interview, acknowledging his love for Dal Glish, who he describes as a legend. When asked by Lad Bible who his favourite footballer of all time is, the 51-year-old responded, it's got to be King Kenny. I met him in the most bizarre circumstances because I'm obviously a man and he treats you like a man in football. In my brain I'm going. You're King Kenny, and he's just chatting to me going, oh all right, Burnley are going all right, and I'm still going, you're King Kenny, in my head. Weirdly, I was in the championship and he was at a Preston game, I can't remember why he was there, but he was just there and tapped me on the shoulder and said, all right Sean. I met him another time when I was at Anfield. It's just that weird thing, they say don't meet your heroes but Kenny is a proper legend. Dyke's affiliation with Liverpool will surely be forgotten if he manages to inspire a speedy turnaround in fortunes at Goodison Park. The former Watford defender's first match in charge is said to be a daunting one, with league leaders Arsenal making the trip up to Merseyside next weekend.